Okay, I've got a phase two of our word cloud here. I have bleed to this red line. I've got my primary word, design. I've got secondary words, creative process words, brainstorming, communication. I've got application words like Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. Uh, and then there, we're using color, that, those are in black. Then we've got words that would relate to those. Photoshop resolution is very important. Uh, Illustrator artboards, uh, rasterize, it's in all of them guidelines, vector, bleed, layer. So there's a system here. There's a hierarchy, a communication system using font and color. Um, the purple ones here, all talking about color. We have a color palette. We have CMYK, we have hue, monochrome, RGB, saturation, tint, pantone. So there's a system here. But our next step on this is we want to have a an extra page. And so there's a couple of ways to do it. Um, I could just create a new artboard. I, I, can, I can select everything and I can uh, hold option and drag and that will make everything disappear. That'll duplicate all those words. I don't have a second page, but all that uh, content uh, duplicated here. That's not how I want to do this though. So I'm gonna zoom back down a little bit. In the page uh, panel, which is right here, um, I can click right here on this little pull down menu and say duplicate spread right here. There's always in uh, the world of Adobe more than one way to do things. Uh, so I could uh, just click and I'll show you two ways to do it. So duplicate spread, and you can see, and that's the easiest way to do it. Um, so now I have two pages. I'm gonna hit Command Z and undo that and show you another way you could do it. That's, that's the way I would do it, the first way I taught you to do it there. You could go to File, Document Setup, and at the very beginning of this design, you could have told it to have two pages right here and then just click OK, and then that's gonna create a second page. Then you could select everything, copy, Command-C on a Mac, Control-C on a P PC. Then you could come to this page here, click on it, and then you could go to Edit, uh, Paste in Place, ooh, File. Um, not seeing Paste in Place. Oh, right here, Paste in Place. Um, and uh, that, that gave you basically the same uh, final result. But again, uh, the easiest way to do it, Command Z a couple times here, the easiest way to do it is in the Pages palette. Just click here and say uh, Duplicate Spread. Once you get your uh, color typographical hierarchy all created, then it's time to go to the next step and, and use clipping mask and start adding images. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna do that now on my second artboard here. I'll click on the word design here. Then I'm gonna go to type, create outlines right here, Command Shift O will create outlines. Now I have vector and I could uh, paste uh, images in there. So maybe I'll go to uh, file place and I've got some images to paste into this. Um, and see what a nice image would be. I, I got this uh, pretty um, paint image here. So I'll, I'll say open to that. And then I'll just click and drag that to make sure it covers that whole area of design. And it, I can't see my word design. So I could go to object, um, arrange, send backwards. You see the key command is command left bracket. 
and it's going to take a couple more steps. So I'll just do that uh, with key commands, command left bracket. And you see, as I do that, it's going to uh, slowly, all these words are going to come in front of it. The key command to move it all the way to the back is arrange command shift left bracket. And so that's going to send it all the way to the back. I have the green background color in front of it. So I'll go command right bracket and that will move it in front of that. So now I'm going to cut that image, Command X, and I'll select my outline design here. And then I'm just going to right click and say paste into. And there we go. We have uh, some cool image. I can click on the content grabber and move it around if I want to. Um, I kind of like that. That's pretty. And so I, I have a nice image and I could go ahead and do that on all of these images. I, I'll select the word Photoshop, Command Shift O will uh, turn it into outlines. Type, create outlines, that's outlines now. I'll place an image, place, Command D, find another image that I wanna put in there. Here's a, uh, a cool uh, kind of nebula or something. And it just pasted right into that because it was selected. So um, that's, uh, I'll do the next with Illustrator. Command Shift O, I have uh, that outline now. Command D is place. I'll find another image. Um, here's some checkers and I'll click place and um, I've, I've pasted that into there. So that's uh, basically obviously on little teeny words. You may on this assignment, uh, since we're going to do uh, photos placed in here, you may want to avoid super razor thin type just because it's not gonna work very well to paste. If I pasted an image into the word artboard or serif here or, or much smaller words, margin here, razor thin type, you're really not gonna see anything into the, in the image there. But that's what this uh, second step is about so that you can, um, you can I, I, I want a learning objective of to you to show me that you understand how to outline type, how to paste content into an outline image. So uh, that's, that's what should be done. You should have two artboards. One, uh, your final image will have photos placed in. Uh, your second, your first one will be just color, um, type and color. Your second one is the same design. You're just pasting images into that. And you can get images from anywhere um, on the internet that you find stuff. And then the last thing is, um, uh, the, first, the first thing before all of that is you're doing, you're doing um, you're doing the, the cloud. I'm, I'm I'm struggling for a moment here. I'm trying to find where my stop recording button is. I, I guess I'll stop share and then I'll be able to find it. Okay, and stop recording. All right.